Hey y'all, here we are in some geometry today. That's what Saxon does brilliantly. That's why you want the third edition textbooks and not the newer ones because they strip the geometry out and make you pay for more classes. So, um, by the way, they've known for at least 115 years that stripping geometry out of books and doing it as a separate, separate year causes test scores and understanding and retention of ge geometry information to worsen. So Saxon does it right. You want geometry integrated into this. In fact, the United States, as far as I know, is the only uh, like advanced nation in the world that still has geometry as a different textbook. Everywhere else you go, they integrate it everywhere uh, into the, uh, let's say, Germany or Japan or all those other nations. So anyhow, let's do some geometry, all right? Look at these triangles. You should know a base of a triangle is the flat part where you can look and see how long across that triangle is. The H is the height, uh, and there are, you know, this is a right triangle. This is a, you know, a different kind of triangle. These are different kind of triangles, but you can still look and go, okay, the base is here, the height is here. The base is not from here all the way to here. This is the length of the base, okay? So just make sure you know base and height. Those are parts of the triangle. Memorize this. Make sure you know this, okay? If you write down your notes and put a little 27 at the top right of your, uh, the notes, then do it. Okay, the area of a triangle is a half the base times the height. At some point, somebody went like this and went, okay, let's see, look at this beautiful rectangle. Okay, this is, uh, I don't know, uh, eight, eight by 10. Okay, here's an eight by 10 run. Oh, this is gonna be 80 square units. Okay, square feet, let's say. So it's 80 square feet. But somebody at some point went, wait a minute, look at this. What if I cut this thing right in half? Boop, there we go. And somebody says, I wonder what the uh, area to this will be. Well, at some point, somebody went, well, that's easy. That's just going to be half of uh, 8 times 10, and a half of 80. That'll be 40. So the person went, wait a minute, you're right. Look, this is a triangle. There's the base of the triangle. There's the height of the triangle. Hey, I wonder if this works with this too. And they went, oh, okay, let's try another one. So, you know, they went in like this and kind of, you know, I don't know. Uh, so they made some triangle that went like this, you know, and it, well, that's going to be the same thing. It's going to be half. Anyway, that is the reason why area of a triangle is half the base times the height. It's not just some random thing somebody made up. I mean, these things kind of make sense. And sometimes I think God gives some certain men and women science, science information where they can, they can make breakthroughs. And uh, a lot of the best scientists in the world, by the way, you should go read a book. You should look it up. It's called Men of Science, Men of God by Henry Morris. Fantastic books from the greatest scientists in the history of the world were Bible believing Christians. So, anyway, okay, well, let's find the areas of these triangles. What's the area of a triangle? It's half the base times the height. So, let's look at A first. Half the base times the height, all right? Now, you can take, you can do it any way you want. You can go four times six, because the base is six and the height is four, 24. Then you can go half of 24 is 12. That's okay. So, you know the answer is 12. All right. In other words, you could just do 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12. You could also, if you wanted to, you could just go, I'm going to take half of this. I'll take half of 4. Well, that's 2 times 6, and that'll be 12. That's okay. Or you could go, oh, I'm just going to take half of 6. That's 3 times 4. That'll be 12. Boom. Any way you want is fine. Okay. Now let's look at B. B looks completely different from A. It's not the same kind of triangle. We'll talk about triangle types of triangles later. But what is the base of this triangle? Six, right? Okay, the height? Four? Okay. We don't care about anything else. I mean, it's still going to be six times four divided by two, right? Okay. That's all there is to it. All right. Last one. What's the base of the triangle? Six. The height of the triangle? Four. Okay. Still 12, right? Doesn't matter what the shape is. You don't care about the shapes. You don't have to go, wait, there's a list of 12 different types of triangles. Oh, I need to know what the base looks like and how it leans them. No, you don't know any of that stuff. Um, middle name would be helpful if you can find that out. Just ask kind of discreetly. Anyway, yeah, all you need is the base and the height. Times them together. Take half. That's it. There you go. All there is to it. Okay, well, let's try a couple of these practice problems. Turn to page 90 and uh, do all three of them. Then. Uh, just go ahead and pause it right now, do all three, then come back. All right, well, let's take a look. Now, A is a little funky. You might go, oh, I got it. The base is five, and then the height is... Wait, I don't... 
I don't see any height there with the foot. There's nothing there to tell me the height. Oh. Which means you're going to have to actually turn this thing around. Now, if you want to sometimes, like, you know, take your book and just kind of like, you know, just turn it around, that's what I'd do if I were you. You don't have to make that noise if you don't want. But if you turned it around, it'd look like this, right? It'd be like this. The base would be, you know, four. And then the height would be three. And then this would be five. So all you care about is, uh, you know what? You might have turned yours. So the base is three and the height is four. Yeah, that's okay, whatever. At any rate, it's going to be three times four, 12 divided by two, six. That's the answer. Okay. All right, B the base is eight because from here to here, they're telling you is four, and then from here to here is four. So this is gonna be eight across for the base. The height is six, eight times six is 48. Half of that's 24. Now, by the way, you could have done, well, I'm not gonna do eight times six. I'll do eight times uh, half of that, eight times three, 24. Or you could have done, I'm not gonna do six times eight. I'll do six times four. Six times four, 24, same thing. Okay, C, piece of cake. The base is 10, the height is eight, 80 divided by two, there it is, 40, we got it, okay. All right, have fun with the geometry today. See you next time.